What's up everybody, it's Goose. Uh, today I'm getting ready to give this guy a copper bolus and uh, selenium. Um, I'm going to use a bolus gun. Uh, got this off of Amazon. Uh, this is the selenium. You can give this to them once a month um, if they need it. And this is my copper bolus. Uh, you just give this to them about once a year. Uh, I get this at Tractor Supply and this I got from Amazon also. Uh, they have different sizes so make sure you get the, the right size capsules um, this is the uh, four gram capsules so it's for goats 50 pounds and bigger and then there's two gram capsules which is for smaller goats um, check and make sure in your area I'm in middle Tennessee and we're deficient in copper and selenium so that's why I'm supplementing these things um, so check your area and make sure um, the way you can tell your goats deficient on copper is they'll have a rough coat and a, a black goat will have like a brown tint to it. So the easiest way to tell is if it just has a, a rough coat, a really rough coat, um, you know you need some copper. Which uh, some, I also offer a free choice uh, loose mineral. Um, and if you get that with enough copper in it, it can be enough, but what I've been using doesn't have enough copper. Uh, I'm about to switch, but right now I need to supplement this. Um, so what you do, well, what I've been doing, you take this bolus gun, um, and I put the selenium in here first. I like to put it in on the end of it, if I can get it. There we go. I put that in there. I like doing them together because the the copper bolus gets stuck in the selenium and it kind of makes them swallow it. So I've got my selenium in there. Stick one of these one of these capsules in there. Come here, bud. I brought some food out here to get them come to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. Come on, go. I got some goats in the background. They might be here in a minute. Come on, goat. We go, buddy. Come get that. All right. Let me grab my goat. Let him chew up his grain. He's going to fight with me. Come on, bud. Go ahead and get that ready. You got the, I got the bolus at the bottom with the selenium. Uh, now I'm going to take his horns and Put them between my legs so I can hold them good. Uh, make them open his mouth. All right, get close in here because I'm gonna. You just try to get it on the back of their tongue. You don't want to get it in their windpipe, uh, so I don't go too far down. I just. Oh, he about got out. All right, he's fighting me. Okay, here we go. So you open his mouth. <coughs> back of his tongue. Calm, calm down. Push him. And then I hold them because sometimes they spit it back out or you don't get it all the way out and they'll uh, try to spit it out. Um, so I hold their head tilted up for a little while and massage their neck, make sure that that, that pill went down. Um, now I'm going to let him drop his head, make sure he isn't trying to spit it out, which he's not. Um, he's trying to get to that green. So I'll let him do that because that'll, that'll make sure it's still in there. So, uh, that's the copper bolus and selenium. Um, oh, I didn't tell y'all. Uh, selenium, the only way I know how to tell that you're deficient on selenium is uh, your kids will be born with really weak legs. They'll be born and they won't be able to stand up. Uh, from what I read, it can be the front and the back legs. Uh, for me, it was the front legs. Two years ago, I had kids born with crooked legs and they couldn't stand up and I, uh, I had to do some research. and. Uh, it was selenium deficiency and I gave them selenium and uh, five minutes later they're up and walking around. It, it's crazy how fast it works. Um, so that's when I noticed I was uh, deficient on selenium. So now uh, I only give it through the winter time. I give my nannies uh, selenium once a month through the winter time to, to help uh, with the, the kid they're growing inside of them. Um, but ever since I started doing that I haven't had any kids born with crooked legs. and. Um, the nannies have done a lot better. Actually, that year, 
two years ago when that happened, I started uh, supplementing copper and selenium, and uh, now I have more kids born and less problems. The goats are healthier, and the, the copper helps with uh, worms, so I don't have to worm them as much now. Um, so it's, it's made a big improvement in the herd, so uh, just check out your area. You might be deficient, and it could really help your goat herd. Uh, that's all. Goose out. <laughs>